Today is like Christmas all over again. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 14 mods plus a DLC update for you. For all platforms we've got two new and four updates. For PC and Mac we've got four new and four updates plus we've got an update to the Kloss DLC. Let's check it out. Starting off today, we've got an update to the Class DLC. This is the Platinum Expansion for Farming Simulator 19. If you did not purchase this or you do not own it, of course, you're still not going to be able to get this for free. You will have to purchase it, but there is a new update for this. So we've got some highlighted stuff and some honorable mentions as well. Started with the highlights, several visual fixes. Fixie Class Scorpion refilling. Fixie slipping on some tools moving by themselves when they shouldn't. Improve sounds on some of the machinery and fix the cabin windows on the Jaguar 96 TT and the Jaguar 98. Honorable mentions would be added care wheels to the center of the Zarian Twin Wheels Narrow configuration. That's awesome. Fix broken skinning on the Torian 639 and Scorpion 1033. Fix the steering bar on the Combio 1230 trailer. Improve the honk sounds of the Zarian honk. Fix grain fill level dashboard on the Lexian 8900. Change the reverse lights to back working lights on the Cargos 9500. Added two additional beacon lights to the Lexian 8900. Added wheel configurations to the Lexian 8900. We now get wides in the back so it doesn't look like it's going to fall over all the time. Increase pipe rotation limits on the Lexian 8900 and the Tucano 580, improved working areas of the Quadrant 5300, Lexian 890, and Roland 455 Uniwrap. Added extra lights to the Convio 1230, fix the wheel slip on the Arian 600, fix collision mass from the Scorpion 1033 because you can't refuel it, fix the wrong engine fan on the Lexian 8900, so that has been fixed, that's great. Also. Fix the tire sizes on the Arian 600 and added Midas broad wheels. Very cool. Remove the tool adapter from the Torian 1914. Fix the grain tank effect on the auger for the Lexian 8900. Fix different track rim colors on the 8900 and the 960 TT. So that's all been fixed now as well. As crab steering on the Zarian, adjusted the fill level on the Cargos 9500. Added new wheels to the Lexian 8000. Added new bigger wheels to the Axion 900. Added trailer bork and Michelin narrow tires to the Axion 800. And adjusted the narrow wheel configuration of the Arian 600. I know that's a lot, but I wanted to make sure that you guys knew the big, big parts of this update right here. Making our way into new mods for all platforms, we have the Massey Ferguson TEF-20. This is the Massey Ferguson from 1956. Man, oh man, this thing is beautiful. I know we were asking for some more classic tractors without cabs. I'll tell you, this is bringing back some feels right here. This looks similar to the first tractor I ever drove. It's amazing. Oh, I love it. Where are you going to find this? This is going to be found in vehicles. It's going to be found in small tractors. And here it is for $32,000. This will go 35 miles per hour. 35 horsepower, rather. 19 miles per hour. And, well, that's about it. There's not a whole lot more to it. It does have a rear PTO. It has a rear three-point. It's got a rear trailer hitch. It's got everything that you need there. Nothing on the front. Nothing there. No front loaders for this. It's just a tractor. It's a small tractor, but it's a tractor nonetheless. If you guys are running a Massey Ferguson farm, you got to get at least one of these just to have on the farm. It is beautiful and it is amazing. And you have got to hear what this thing sounds like. Oh boy, man, that thing's awesome. And your last new mod today for all platforms, Seasons Geo Spain. This Geo is prepared to combine the mod of Seasons with the map of the old farm countryside. Love that farm. With temperatures close to the center of Spain, uh, in addition to four new crops present on the map, millet, sorghum, rye, and rice. 
latest versions of Seasons Mod is required. Taking a look at the planting calendar and we get some interesting things, stuff that we're not used to seeing here in the States, where you have a uh, summertime harvest and then a fall planting season for your cereal crops. But a few other things are backwards yet again. Canola, for example, the same thing right there as well. However, sunflowers, soybeans, cotton, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, all those things are still normal. So those are planted in late winter to spring and then harvested late summer into fall. I see this and I see some double sections, so I would highly recommend that you guys use at least six day seasons on this to be able to get the most out of this geo. Moving into updates for all platforms, we have the wooden gates and fences, change log 1.001. The price has been changed. We've got an update to Seasons Geo Bavaria. Changelog 1.2 Harvest Time has been corrected. We've got a big update for you. Seasons is updated today. Version 1.2 added American Spanish translation. Fix for some rotting bells when they should not be rotting. Plus performance improvements all around. And your last update for all platforms today. The Howard Snowpack which comes with Seasons Changelog 1.02 fix for the bug during configuration. Shouldn't have any bouncing around or problems anymore. Moving it to new mods for PC and Mac, we have the global company Realistic Milking Time. Cows are milked twice a day. To adjust this, milk is now created at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. In between, you do not get any milk like you do in base game. Mod is only usable in combination with the global company and is only available for PC and Mac. Next new mod for PC and Mac is the Vihinus VSW 2040 Vihinus Super Silage Wagon. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a large modern, modern silage wagon built around the year 2000. Vihinus wagons are heavily built. It is recommended to use at least a medium tractor of 150 horsepower. To tow it with a capacity of 40,000 liters, you can bring corn or grass harvest at a good end. Let's check this out. Man, this thing is cool. Look at those wheels. Those are awesome. Those are modded wheels as well. We'll take a look at those. Let's check a look in the store. We're going to find this. It's going to be found in tools. It's going to be found in trailers. And here it is, 40,000 liters. The great thing, $18,000. What? This might be the cheapest large capacity trailer we've got in the game. This is a bulk trailer as well, so to hold any type of bulk material, not just silage, which is phenomenal. We've only got a couple things we could change up here. Rim color, we go from yellow to a gray. That is the end game gray. We also get red. The red matches everything else on the trailer perfectly, and you get a white. I would say I I like all of these colors. They all look great to me. We're just gonna stick with that one for now. Wheel brands, we have Trailer Borg, Michelin, and BKT. In Trailer Borg, we have Standard and Wide Tires. And then in Michelin, we have Standards and Wides as well. Those are properly wide. And then BKT Wide Tires, these are the ones that we've got on our uh, display model. Very, very cool. One of the coolest things is there is no cost for new tires. So you can choose your own color, choose your own tire, no additional cost, 18 grand. Boy, oh boy, this thing's awesome. Next up, we have large liquid storage. This is a warehouse for all liquids. Construction cost is gonna be about $100,000 with daily price at $10 per day with a capacity of 100 million <laughs> liters across the board which is pretty insane. This mod only works in conjunction with the global company mod. It is seasons ready, and some of the buildings are courtesy of Lunchbox. Your last new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Animal Food Pack. This is an animal food pack containing nine different buildings that are needed for the production of animal food. The mod also adds a feed mixer, big bag, and four new fill types, which is very cool. This is a turnip shredder, hay dryer, silage fermenter, straw chopper, feed mixer, compound feed mixer, grain grinder, potato digester, and pig food mixer. So if you're looking for that stuff, this is a great one for you. Also, this only works in conjunction with Global Company. Moving into updates for PC and Mac, we've got four of them. First up, Hollenschfeld, changelog 1.1, fix the doors, fix the house texture, added cow sounds, and 
fix the straw plane. Next, we have the global company CCM Mill, changelog 1.0.1. You have free rotation now when placing, so you can place it however you would like. This is required. They have a enlarged base plate for this, and you may need to place a new one because this may cause a few issues. Also, move the trigger to fold the pipe, added a particle system, and added selling stations. We've got an update to the Dangrevel SVL18. Change log 1.0001. Change to the rear lighting system. So you got new lights on the rear now. And your last mod today, the Domas SB600KG. Change log 1.2. Preserve the model based on the Farming Simulator 19 standard. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoHam fam, and turn those notification bells on so that you never miss a video here on the channel. With all that being said, I hope you have a great, wonderful rest of your day. We will see you later. Peace!